you know, there's a saying that God is love and that there is only love and there is only God and everything is God. And then we have all these sayings. And um, to me, the love is the vibration or what, which is very, which is an experience. It's not, you know, it's not a word and it's not a concept. It's, it's an experience. It's a vibration, right? And that vibration, the way we perceive that vibration is determined by the condition of our emotional body. If my emotional body is in a state of distortion to the point that that vibration moves through my emotional body, comes out as angry stories and angry circumstances in the world, that anger is still love. It's just love distorted into a definition. So everything is the vibrational. Every experience we're having is the vibrational, appearing according to the perceptual lens of the emotional body. And in that way, it's all God and it's all love appearing in however we can comprehend it according to our perceptual matrix. And the perceptual matrix is being determined by the condition of the emotional body. So the only way to really realize what love is, to realize it, is to, to um, integrate all those um, blockages in the emotional body that cause us to place conditions on this vibration until the point that we can be with things. Only when we can really be with everything as it is, I think will love reveal itself to us as what it is. And, and um, you know, the way that I explain it to myself is that love comes to us all in many ways and asks us, like it'll come to us in the guise of a relationship or in many ways and ask us, can you set me free? And what we do because of our perceptual matrix, because of our emotional imprint, we take that love that comes to us and we put it in a box, a box that's made out of our, f our fear, anger and grief. Right. So love is coming to us and saying, can you set me free? Can you place no condition on me? And I suspect that when we set love free, in other words, we place no conditions on our experience, that love then shows us what it really is. But while we place conditions on it, it can, we can only see it according to that conditioned perceptual matrix. But it actually is everything. Actually, it is the only thing that exists. It's just distorted into chaos because of our imprinting. It's distorted into fear, anger and grief because of our imprinting. But the, but, the, but, but the source of it, the causal point, is still the vibrational. And, you know, when it's, when it's undistorted, it's just the vibrational. When it's distorted, it can be any number of chaotic or to us seemingly um, unpleasant or uncomfortable experiences.